Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the San Diego Comic Con exclusive black and white Diamond Select Femme Fatales PVC statue of Harley Quinn from the episode Almost Got Him for Batman the Animated Series. Now, uh, here is a look at just the uh, Comic Con little logo there. And it's not a sticker, it's actually like printed onto the packaging. There is a regular Harley coming out that's actually, you know, red and black, like the cartoon colors. But uh, this is a con exclusive, and I like that the packaging reflects that with not just a sticker, although there is a sticker here with the uh, limited number out of 4,000, so that's cool. So now we'll just unbox this. Being that this is a 9 inch tall statue, that would allow for some pretty good detail. But since this is based on Bruce Timm's designs from Batman the Animated Series, there isn't a lot of detail. It's a very simple design, but this is a very simple design done well. Starting off with the base, which I think is cool, it's the, uh, the bat signal with uh, her little graffitiing stinks on it. Well, you know, in reverse, when you project it, it reads like stinks with the little stink lines above Batman's head here, or the bat ears of the symbol. Um, and then you get to the detail of like, the sculpt of the figure itself. And like the pose it's in, just like the, the basic lines of, like the contour lines of her shape. And I think they did just a really, really great job with this. Um, you can see here the way like she's kind of posed with her arms like up and with the uh, spray can. Uh, like there's nothing to complain about here with this sculpt. It's a very, very solid sculpt with a strong use of paint. Again, there's going to be the red one coming out later, but right now we've got this black and white variant. And I think the, the paint on it's pretty damn clean. Here, let's go for a closer look, and you can just show you guys, like, how clean most of it is. Like, her, uh, her mouth looks good, her eyeballs look good, so does the mask. Um, but the little, like, white thing around her neck, and the little, like, white balls that reach the, uh, the edge of it, are all really, really good. The diamonds on her arm, the line going at the back of her head, the, uh, little dingly-danglies on the, the edge of her, uh, her costume. Looks really good. So does the, uh, spray can, and just, like, the basic detail of it. The, uh... The top of it and the words black on it. Uh, yeah, like, like, pretty easy statue to review. Going down the front of it, you can just see the separation between the black and the gray. The uh, little black diamonds there. Uh, the gray diamonds on the uh, black part of her leggings. All really solid work, and the way it connects to the base is really good too. You don't have to assemble it yourself, it's all kind of assembled and ready to go. And yeah, I, I just, I love this. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Harley. And uh, the fact that Diamond Select is continuing their Femme Fatales line with animated series figures based on Bruce Timm designs is a great idea. And not just Batman the Animated Series, they're doing like uh, Supergirl, and uh, I think I saw at their booth, I think they're doing like Catwoman, I don't know, they're doing tons of characters. Uh, but kicking the line off with this exclusive black and white Harley, and knowing that we're getting a red one, and Supergirl, I love this. I think Bruce Timm is an amazing artist. I think Diamond Select does great work with their Femme Fatales statues. Um, and you get pretty, I mean, it's a 9 inch, it's plastic, it's like PVC, but it's a $45 statue, which is pretty reasonable if you're trying to collect statues as a collector, but you don't want to drop like, you know, 150, 200 bucks on something. Like, this looks really good. I think it's worth 45 bucks. I think it turned out great. Thanks for watching.